In this video, I'm gonna show you how to generate entire AI agent teams with a single prompt. The reason why this is important is because most people spend all of their time in AI tutorial hell learning how to use NADN. And the most successful people that are starting AI businesses are focusing on value proposition, you know, market positioning, AI offer design. Basically, they're figuring out how to create offers and how to package them in a way that resonates with business owners so that they can actually sell those solutions. And so fundamentally, my core belief and what I teach in AI Entrepreneur University is that if you focus on business strategy, if you understand how a business works and how value creation works, you can scale to the moon and you can just have AI and Claude and what I'm about to teach you generate all of your workflows for you. And so without further ado, let's dive into, so this is how to build an AI agent army with Claude. You basically start out with the system architecture. So we're going to give Claude the design of you're going to have one orchestrating agent. It's going to control specialized sub agents, each that have their own tools, right? And so fundamentally, Claude for Opus is a much better model because it has extended thinking, web search, um, and it's just more powerful. So whereas in the past, we need to give it all of this context, all of this project knowledge base, which we're still going to do but it can just get it way more refined on the first try because it's more powerful. You know, it can understand what it's doing. We can then just import those workflows into NADN. So there's like different, you know, there's a bunch of different potential systems we could generate, right? But ultimately all these agents are gonna connect to our tools, Airtable, Slack, Asana, Monday.com, Gmail, Google Sheets, whatever it is, Zoom. And we're going to give it the strategy of what we want it to do. And we're gonna let it just go to work and do all of this for us. Right. And so we can think of it like this. We're giving it the business description and the tool names. We're giving it a bunch of example prompts. Then it's going and it's using its tools to generate six to eight core concepts. It's basically mapping out and using its reasoning capabilities to figure out what workflows to generate first. And then once it generates those like core, it's basically saying here are the tools and the objectives of each sub agent. Then it's going and generating all of those. And so rather than trying to have it do a one shot prompt where it's going and you know trying to generate all the workflows immediately it's doing the thinking to figure out what to generate and then it's generating it right which fundamentally is more effective because it's figuring out what to generate so it's not kind of shooting in the dark it's creating an entire plan for itself before it then goes and generates those and so this is why i'm so excited about this because it's allowing us to focus on the business value creation that can like i think where humans are best suited is to figure out you know, is to do the reasoning, is to do the strategy, to use AI, sure, to help you do the strategy, but ultimately you're deciding who do I want to target, what offer do I want to create for them, and once you can decide those things, you can then let Claude go and build out and do all the implementation work for you, because if you're looking at where AI is heading, the implementation side is getting easier and easier and easier. You're not going to win by focusing on the technical NADN implementation. It's just like, that is like one of my core beliefs with the AI space. Everyone is focused on the wrong thing. They're focused on how to build this really cool NADN system. But now Claude, you know, Manus, Gemini, Grok, they can all generate these workflows. So you being able to build and construct these workflows better than someone else is not going to make you win. You're just going to get outcompete by Claude, Opus, you know, or whatever the newest and latest model is in two, three, four months, right? Given that the models can already generate entire AI agent teams, as they get better, you're not even going to need to use something like NNN eventually. You're just going to need to be able to conceptualize value creation. And so let's dive right in and actually start doing the work here. So fundamentally, we're going to have a project. This project is going to have a bunch of different NADN workflows in it that it can reference. It's going to have a you know system instructions, and then we're going to give it a prompt to use. And so the way that we're going to do this is uh, we're going to go and... You know, I'm going to get the the system instructions from the community here. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab in this prompt. And this is going to be the one-shot prompt that we're going to use. And the system prompt is going to be inside of the AI agent templates in the community. Um, but if you want to, you know, get really close without it, what you can do is you can go to nadn.io slash workflows. You can actually pull all of these different workflows. I filtered it by AI agents. I can go in here and get a bunch of free workflows, right? So if I go in here, I can just click use for free, copy JSON template. This is a workflow that connects to, you know, 
uh, web search and you know a vector database and stuff like that and then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into Claude I'm gonna copy add text content and then I'm just going to copy this workflow directly into my project and this is just going to give it the more workflows that I can give it the better because it will have more things to reference there's some uh, instructions on how to generate it and then this prompt and I'm gonna say now generate me marketing related Generate me an AI agent team with the sole objective of doing high quality marketing. And, you know, it's, it's a very vague prompt. We can absolutely get really, really specific with this. But, you know, it's going to go and generate the workflows for us. Now, I've been generating workflows all morning. So I'm going to show you exactly, you know, I did this exact same prompt a second ago. And I'm going to show you what the output was um, because I ran out of credits. Uh, but here it is. Generate me an AI agent team based on the following information. You know, and I basically added in this entire prompt in here with the business description. And then it basically went and it said, okay, now I have the social media orchestrator, the lead intelligent analyst. You know, it generated all of these eight different sub agents um, as well as the master coordinator agent. And now, you know, with the advanced reasoning, it's able to go in and think through what it wants to do and then create all these JSON, you know, files that we can then use in our workflows. Now, if you go over here to these artifacts, it will generate these. So we have the, you know, master coordinator agent we have the you know email engagement analytics monitor the meeting scheduler customer success tracker content strategy generator um, and now if i were to do this again i would probably refine exactly which ai agent examples i'm giving in the project knowledge base to refine this you can see on a one-shot prompt it was able to say okay here's all the workflows i need here's the eight different workflows i need let me connect them all as sub workflows inside of this main agent this main agent is going to be able to then call all of these workflows and you know we're going to give it open ai and then once it calls all of those workflows it's going to have you know the engagement analytics it's going to have all these different sub workflows that it can then call right so that's fundamentally the power here is that one prompt can get us really close and now as we refine you know whatever workflows we're putting into the project knowledge base we're going to then refine the quality of the output we're going to then refine how close it gets on the first shot on the one shot prompt right so this is an extremely powerful system an extremely powerful tool um, but the reason why i'm so freaking excited about this is not because it can go and generate these workflows for me but because i can then focus on the strategy i can focus on what is the business i want to create what are the offers i want to run how do i set up you know lead generation systems and outreach systems i can you, you know use claude to generate all of these sales infrastructure my team and I have been ruthlessly developing entire end-to-end -end AI sales infrastructure. We're actually building it in Python and custom code now because we want to scale beyond NADN. But all the initial schemas were NADN. We, I basically said, go and find me leads in this industry, this industry. Let's test this offer. You know, let me test all these campaigns. That's fundamentally how I've scaled from zero to 25K a month. Now we, I think we hit um, 140K since January. And it is now uh, July tenth or something like that and so this is this is what it's exciting right we can give it the prompt the language model the memory it can go and the the idea people will win in this economy you know the technical people will lose the idea people will win and that's not to say if you're technical you can't win it just means focus on becoming an idea person on becoming someone that can see a business and be like okay what are a bunch of different systems that could solve real challenges that these businesses are facing it's not as easy as people say a lot of people say just learn nn and money will be raining from the sky that's literally not how it works how it works is business is always business the fundamentals of business will not change it's just that the ability to deliver and solve those problems will get a little bit easier because of ai that's fundamentally where we're at as a uh it's where the zeitgeist of ai is at right now is that I, I try to focus 90% of my time on how do I understand the problems that my clients and you know customers are facing? How can I develop solutions and offers that solve those problems better than my competitors? And then how can I have AI go and deliver that value to them without me having to do much work because I've strategized and mapped out the schemas of how these systems will solve the problems that you know now the work isn't about learning how to code in lane chain or something like that it's learning how to understand 
what AI can do, and then how to translate that into the real world problems that it can solve. You probably need a hundred hours of work just putting your head down and just being like, how can I solve these problems in a business? And you know, maybe you need 10 hours of work to learn how to let Claude generate your workflows and set up some APIs, right? It's literally not that hard to, you know, set up the workflows. The really difficult part here is the strategy. And so thank you so much for watching this video. If you got value from it, that's exactly what we teach in AI Entrepreneur University. It's fundamentally AI business foundations, how to create offers. I created a system of prompts that will guide you through how to find your market, the pain points, the dream outcome, obstacles, solutions, how to create a really high value compelling offer, then how to structure that into an outbound campaign that will get results. A lot of people, a lot of AI gurus say like, you know, submit Upwork applications, do LinkedIn DMs. All these things are extremely saturated and rate limited if you're using LinkedIn. Cold email, if you if you do it right and set it up right, will scale you to the moon. You just need it, but most people do it wrong. Most people write really shitty cold email campaigns. So if you understand the psychology of how to write emails and the psychology of what makes copywriting good, you can then take and generate a bunch of different offers in a bunch of different markets. You can test them out rapidly and the sky's the limit, right? has got three new business opportunities in the last 24 hours because my email campaign is running on autopilot. And now that I'm like rapidly testing markets and offers, I basically have this machine where I'm like, okay, these AI offers work really well. These markets work really well. These markets are not receptive. And I've only learned that from testing dozens and dozens of campaigns. But that's the, the beauty about launching outbound campaigns is you can basically, as long as you can get leads into the campaigns and personalize them, you can basically test an unlimited amount of different offers and markets until you hit gold and then you just ramp that up and you know you put a million people in that campaign then it works beautifully so this is this is fundamentally what we do in the community you know we have lead generation master classes cold email psychology coffee hour you name it um we have lots of live calls lots of you know it's an entire nine module program here um and that's fundamentally why I'm so excited about this stuff and why I'm so excited about Claude generating workflows is because I never once believed that mastering the technical aspects of NADN was a differentiator between people that are successful and people that fail. And now finally AI is catching up and it's becoming more and more obvious to more people that learning how to create really high quality systems and AI agent systems is not what separates you from other people. It's learning how to understand offer creation and lead generation and to use the AI systems to support that, right? So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you for, you know, getting all the way to the end here. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.